Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I've got this really easy little flip lid gift box which holds three Tunnix tea cakes. I realised I'd nearly finished my Christmas series and I hadn't done a single tutorial using these chocolates, which I love. And they're just nice little stocking stuffers. Maybe leave it for your neighbour or your postman. I think it's quite a sweet little gift. And like with most of my projects, this will work all year round. Just change up your papers. You don't have to have the ho 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 on there and you don't even have to cut the three circles either. So let me show you how to make it. So I've got my hook and loop here. These ones are from Amazon. I will link them. They are on my storefront actually, but I'll link them below as well. So you do get quite a lot there. I've got three more tea cakes there. So I've used my chunky alphabet die set for the ho ho ho. But like I said, you don't have to have any of that on there if you don't want to. And then for the papers, I've used this pad again, which I used on the shadow box, box in a box tutorial. <laughs> um, there's some really nice reds, like stripes and quite festive prints I thought but again you've got some nice butterflies and hearts and things like that this one was from from the range I think so you'd have to pop into stores to find that one so first of all you want a piece of five and three quarters by ten and a quarter and this is for the base and you're going to score at one and three quarters on all four sides so one and three quarters and then just rotate one and three quarters one and three quarters and again one and three quarters then for the lid I've got this piece which is three and a half by eight and a quarter along the eight and a quarter side you want to score at three quarters and seven and a half and then along the three and a half side you're going to score at three quarters and three so you'll have a half inch tab here but you'll have a three quarters of an inch lip on the three sides here and that's these three sides here yeah. you can see the half inch is just at the back there so that's our hinge so you want this piece i'm just going to fold and burnish all of the score lines okay so with this piece along the long side you're going to cut down the two score lines just to the first score line there so that one and then again just there rotate it and do the same on the other side and then just take a little wedge off of both sides of all of these squares. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. Next, I'm going to take my construction glue and just pop some on the tops of each of these squares and then just bring it under and around. And just make sure that you've got a nice right angle like so. Just repeat that on all of the corners. Okay, so you should have like your tray, the base there of your box. Next, you want to take this one here and you want to add your paper on the top. So whether you want pattern paper or plain paper, I've got this piece here and this one measures two by six and a half. I'll get that one stuck down like so and then if you want to cut your circles in or maybe you want to cut a bigger another rectangle in there or something so I've got myself this circle die here which is one and five eighths and I'm going to start first of all positioning it in the middle so just use your ruler so what's that two and a half two and three so mine's coming in at two and three eighths from that score line there to the edge of the die so I know that that's right in the middle I'm going to tack it in place and run that through my machine and then I'm going to move the circle to this side again make sure it's nice and centered and then again to this side and just run it through and get those three circles cut okay so they're all cut and then what I did for the frames is I took a slightly larger circle and this is two and I cut three of these first and then I just sat this in the middle of the circle and it gave me these rings here and I thought I had a third one so I'll cut that one in a moment but you just want to stick those over the top so that's all stuck down and then I've got this piece of acetate which is two and one eighth by just it's just over six and a half you just want to make sure it's big enough to cover your apertures because you know some people are going to have probably slightly different ones so I've added a thin 
strip of red tape around the four sides there. I always clean my acetate with some rubbing alcohol or surgical spirit and use a piece of kitchen towel but I'll give it another wipe in a minute because it's already picked up some bits from my mat so I'm just placing that over. Now if you want to cover this if you don't like the tape there being seen cut yourself another piece of red like this and cut the three holes again you can see I've done it inside this one here but I might not do it with this one I don't think you need to to be honest I don't think anybody really looks at that if you think about the insides of boxes I can never remember what they look like so people don't notice those things I think this will be fine as it is I'm then going to just fold and burnish those score lines and then you want to cut down. So I've got the half inch tab at the back, got the three quarter inch at the front here. So I'm just gonna cut down the two little score lines here just to release that square. And then again, just take a little wedge off of each side there. And then you wanna remove these kind of rectangles completely. Make sure it's all nice and neat because you're going to see all of this. Okay, like so. And then we want to add glue to these ones here and we're going to fold them under just the same way that you did with the base. So I'm just going to use my quick grab glue and just spread that out. And just again, bring it around so you've got a nice right angle there. Like so. If you worry that your lid might not fit, just sit it over when you stick these down. So I'll just show you on this corner here. So just again, adding my glue there and then bring it around so it's against the box. So I've done that side already. So I just bring this one around here and then close that up. And you can just take that off and at least now you know that that's gonna fit. Okay. Then we can add the mats and layers. So I've got two pieces of one and a half by six and a half and they're going to go on the front and the back and then I've got these two pieces here which are two by one and a half and they're to go on the sides here so I'm going to get those all stuck down next that's all of my layers stuck down and then I'm going to take my quick grab glue and I'm going to run it all down that half inch tab like so and then I'm just going to sit the front down first and then just turn it over and then push down again that would just ensure that the lid fits and just hold that there a minute for that glue to grab you can then just carefully open it up and if you go in there with your ruler just something that you can get in and just start to push that all down now you might find that you don't need the hook and loop because actually this one, when I close it, it holds itself perfectly. So I'm not going to add it. But if yours is just popping off, not really holding itself, pop your hook and loop in there. Or you could punch some holes here and here and have a nice, you know, ribbon, nice bow at the front there. I think that would look lovely as well. And then I've got my three tea cakes here and I've already popped some foam pads on the back. I want to make sure that the writing, the tunics is at the top there. And I'm just going to sit this one down you might want to do this before you stick the lid down but if you just fold it back and then you can just don't want to push too much because these ones are easy to break but there you can see that nicely so I'm just going to do the same with these ones there we go and then I've got my ho 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 like I said I used my chunky alphabet for these ones oh I've got these layers as well before I forget these ones are half an inch by two and you need two of those and they're for each side of your lid here and then half an inch by six and a half so I'll stick those down in a moment but the ho 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 what I did because they they don't fit when they're side by side with a gap so what I did is I just stuck one slightly over the top so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and just pop it just slightly over the o there that's only if you've got these ones. You might have smaller alphabet. Like I said, you might not be adding letters. You could have some little flowers in the middle. But now that fits in there perfectly. I'm just going to get these all stuck down and those 
layers there as well. And there's the finished box. It's a really straightforward, easy one to do. And um, you can obviously pop anything in here. It doesn't have to be the tea cakes, but I will share my tea cake playlist that I've got. because I've got quite a few now. They're really inexpensive, but they do make nice little gifts and there's not many people that don't like them. So yeah, win-win. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. I'll have the Tunnix Tea Cake playlist popping up now if you want to see some other gift boxes that I've made for these little treats. And as always, if you've enjoyed today, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already and make sure you hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.